Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making a rainbow cushion and it is built from a huge granny square that you can then fold over the cushion like an envelope and I do hope you enjoy this project. So what do you need for this rainbow cushion? I went to Ikea and I bought a cushion inner. It's called inner <laughs> even. Um, and it's 50 by 50 centimeters so they have all kinds of sizes there but this one in particular is a square and that's why I wanted it for this rainbow uh, cushion so there we are so that's the cushion so if you have an IKEA close to you you can probably you know get the same sized cushion then I made this um, huge granny square and uh, these are the colors that I used. So I have the gray as my main color and that color goes in between every row and then also on the outside. Uh, lipstick, spice, citron, grass green, aster, lapis and violet. And of course these are all the uh, special DK, um, Starcraft Special DK, okay, so they're all the same make, and each time, as I said, you put the grey in between. I did two repeats of the rainbow colours, and then I just kept going on the grey. This now is nearly big enough to go round the cushion. So let me just show you how I did that. And I used a three and a half, just so that you know. I always have to use a size or half a size smaller, so you might need to use a four as prescribed by the yarn. So let's put this to the side. So let's take a closer look at the uh, cover I made. So like, um, it's just a granny square that has grown so each time I did the gray in between so I started with the gray then the red then the gray then the orange then the gray then the yellow and so on I did two color repeats and in total I did 35 rounds okay towards the end I did just gray because I didn't want to start another color repeat and also of course you have to sew in all the ends uh, because obviously you are changing color every round. So I've done 35 rounds and let me just show you, uh, I'm going to be measuring it and it's 65 centimeters square. So it's about the same, uh, so, yeah, well it is the same size because it's a square of course. So now let's try and put this around our cushion, <laughs> okay. Um, let me put this a bit higher so I don't like to take the labels off so they stay on right so the label stays on I'm putting the cushion diagonally and, and I'm putting this across sort of straight right so it's going to be around the cushion like an envelope let me just turn it over right so we will have the four corners meeting like this in the middle of the cushion. Now, obviously, before you cut off your yarn, make sure that it's big enough because all our tensions are different. You don't, it doesn't have to meet as such, you know, not completely. There is allowed a little bit of white still because we are going to do another row of uh, single crochets here, which will pull it all together. Okay, so let's get started on doing that. Okay, so I'm now sewing together the four uh, corners here. And before I proceed, I have done a little bit of an experiment. Um, there's different ways you can crochet your sides together. Um, this bit here, I did with a single crochet. So always in the back loop, so the two loops together the inner loop so to speak but here I used the single crochet and as you can see it sort of stands up a bit here 
I used the slip stitch so not um, you know just pulling through the loop on your hook and here I don't know whether you can see it's come on down a little bit um, I did it on the other side so I did a single crochet on the other side so you've got the standing up bit on the inside here now I have to say um, I'm liking this bit here the best so it's all you know it's almost like it's worth trying um, to do this experiment to just spending the time um, to see what it looks like so you can then decide so I shall now undo this <laughs> I've still got my uh, wool attached here um, I have also just uh, done two sides look it's coming undone <laughs> Um, I have also done two sides with the slip stitch, so it's nice and a flattish uh, sort of a way of putting it together. So that's worked out really nice. I think it looks really good. Um, and I tried to put the cushion in with just the one opening and that worked. So yeah, I'm do undoing this one now. So I can redo it doing the slip stitch. So yeah, spending that little bit of time, um, sort of trying to out trying out different stitches is, in my opinion, worth it because then you know what you're doing, or then you know which effect you like best. So what I have been doing, let me just find the end of this wool here. So we start by making a slip knot. You insert your hook. And what I have done, I have found the here the two sort of corner spaces, and by putting your yarn in the right position, then entering into the corner spaces, I have then done a slip stitch. So straight away through the loop on your hook. Then you start looking for the inner loops, so the back loop on both sides of each corresponding stitch. No, you do not do a single crochet, you do a slip stitch. There you go. And you continue this way all along. Let me just zoom in a moment. There we go, that's a little bit closer. <laughs> okay. So you bring together your stitches here. You find the back loop here. There we go. Then the back loop there as well, but obviously it's in, it's in, it, it's in the wrong position. So it's your front loop as you are looking at it. You pull your yarn through and you pull it through the loop on your hook. I am now working with the cushion inside. I do have to admit, I did those other two sides here without the cushion inside it and that made it a lot easier. But I do think at one point you just have to put the cushion in because otherwise you might sew it up and you might forget to have put it in. So here we go, I'm just going to continue and also what you can do is check that you are using the corresponding stitches on both sides. Okay, and this is how you're going to continue all along. So here I'm just about to do the last stitch. There we go, sorry, that pulled out a bit, so I need to tighten that up a bit. There we go, and that's it, okay. So there seems to be one stitch left at the end there, which is fine, I don't mind. Um, obviously, I there's an uneven number there. So I'm just going to cut this off. Oops. <clears throat> yeah, that was off camera. Well done, Anya. <laughs> and um, I'm going to pull it through and sew it in. So I've got my needle here. I've attached it. Now, the thing is you need to do this so you're not attaching it to the pillow. <laughs> so you go in. And then I sort of try and when the cushion's not in there, you can turn it inside out and that makes it a lot easier. There we go. 
and uh, we have it okay so the end has disappeared and then try and sew in a little bit more maybe without the cushion or whatever but yeah let's cut it off <laughs> right okay so then what you need to do is here as well sew in this end now what I am going to try and do this time normally I've just sewn in the end so that's so make them disappear but this time because I've been using um, the, the the chain twos each time it seems to me that they've look they're sort of stretched a little bit so I'm going to try and just sew them together a bit okay so there we go that's much better already see that's a lot neater there we go see two stitches it took right so let's do this one here as well incorporate the one that we are doing in a moment now you could put a couple of buttons on here so that when you want to wash this you can um, you know just open the buttons take the pillow out and wash the cover so you know you could put two buttons there like that or even more or less or whatever um, and it wouldn't it wouldn't take away from the look of the cushion because this is the back so uh, you would expect some sort of you can also cut off the label if you wanted to <laughs> not me um, so yeah that's my suggestion for making sure that you can wash it I'm not so worried about this because obviously I'm making this for the video I might just put it in a box. The thing is, I've got so many things now. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. I'm going to have to have a have a think about it, I think. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to just sew this in towards the back of the work here. And take it out. There we go. And then cut off cut off the end there we go okay so yeah that's what I'm doing so I'm also going to be doing this last one here with the slip stitches and then I will be showing you what it looks like on the sofa okay everyone so this is what the cushion looks like from the back with the lovely flat slip stitch stitch to close up the cushion and then this is what we have from the front and i have to say i think it looks really nice it's sort of really a bright pop of color there yeah i really like it So, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.